2014 has been a great year for early access games. But like a fruit, early access games should only be picked when ripe. So here are our four best early access games of 2014, and whether we think they're ripe for the picking. The Forest carries both the burden and the potential of being the open world survival horror game we've always dreamed about. At the moment, any claim that the game falls short is ridiculous considering it's still been heavily developed in alpha, but there are some noticeable problems. The Forest is riddled with bugs, and every patch seems to contain a hundred bug fixes. The mystery of the plane crash premise wears off quickly, and the narrative around it does little to motivate the player. Also, there are only about 20 crafting recipes, and the fighting and fortification gameplay is similarly limited. These elements need to be built upon and given depth, especially since the permadeath system predisposes the forest to be replayed over and over. After 10 hours, it is very likely you have figured out most of the game's features, and there won't be much more to discover. The strong points of the forest are still considered, however. The AI is unlike anything else. The way in which they scout you from a distance, then viciously attack, is frighteningly intelligent and terrifically builds an atmosphere of dread. The graphics and settings still look fantastic, and the recently added co-op mode instantly adds some much needed variety to the game. It's still very early days for the forest, but we have faith in it. Leave a little longer. Underneath its tempting lure of testosterone and American patriotism, Brofors is a metal slug run and gun game refined for casual multiplayer. By its arcade nature, the game is simple, but the different characters and their signature weapons add variety, whilst the highly explosive world ensures a frenetic pace. The game modes include a campaign and speedrun mode which can be played solo or cooperatively, as well as deathmatch and a level editor. Our pick of the bunch is 4 player deathmatch for some competitive mayhem. Broforce has received a lot of plaudit without much consideration because of its humour, but the game is more than solid and very playable right now. The campaign mode does still need to be finished and there are some more bros to be added, but Broforce should be released early next year in pretty much the state it is now, so it's ripe for the picking. Commencing Autopsy 3. Time, 2104. 27-year-old female... In Plague Inc. Evolved, you invent your own disease, set it on the world, and then manage it until you achieve worldwide infection. The strategy to this is greatly complex, with many variables ranging from animal migrations to countries' ports that need to be factored in, and this provides a real challenge. The PC version does everything just as well as the iOS version, but there appears to be a lack of an underlying cause for it. The new 3D models of the diseases are neat, and the content creator provides some extra value, but there's ultimately little that makes the PC version more than an iOS port. However, the yet to be released multiplayer modes appear promising. Racing to have your disease be the first to spread against another player online is a thrilling concept that could give Plague Inc. Evolve the dynamic it needs to be truly evolved. As we said however, multiplayer is yet to be implemented, so we don't know if it's any good or not. We're going to continue to sit on this one. Leave a little longer. Those monsters, driven mad by music. There is nothing like the rhythmic roguelike gameplay of Crypt of the Necrodancer. Dancing through dungeons to the game's soundtrack or your own MP3 files has a truly endless quality to it. The game still needs to add Zone 4 and the final bosses, but all that's there at the moment is finalised and highly playable. If you're a fan of the roguelike genre, we recommend you jump in now because the heart of the game is there and it is highly addictive and deep. There aren't many early access concerns with Necrodancer. However, we think it's also pretty reasonable that you just wait a little while to buy a fully complete version of the game. And if you do wait, the price won't change either. Crypt of the Necro Dancer is ripe for the picking. That's the end of day 2 of our 8 days of Christmas. We'll see you guys tomorrow for the best looking indie games of 2014. See you then. One more time! One more time! Live to I'm not living! He's not afraid! Like, I'm I got no idea.